<laughs> it's Sesame Street. Well, it may look like the frozen north, but actually it's uh, 20th Century Fox Studios in Hollywood to talk with Mark Hamill and David Prowse. And uh, The Empire Strikes Back, what can I tell you? Star Wars again. Okay. Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. It's yeah. good to see both of you again. It's really the, the only time we ever meet. We, ne we never meet on the film, <laughs> apart from the last one we did, of course. That's right. But on the first one, we never met at all. And it got very lonely for me. Now, on this one, I sort of go off with R2 searching for this Jedi Master, and Carrie and Harrison go off on their own little adventure with Chewie and with 3PO. So I would see them at the studio, and I'd see them in the makeup room in the morning, I'd see them at the commissary. But I started getting very nostalgic and wistful for the good old days on the Death Star, you know, in the trash compactor. I have to bring up something, Mark, because the last time we talked, you told mm -hmm. all about the rigors of that Tunisian desert, that mm. godforsaken place where you went mm. on location. And now this time, another what appears to be godforsaken location, but this time know. freezing how, to death. How do they dream up these? And he, of course, as Darth <laughs> Vader, stays very aloof on his spaceship, all done in the comforts of yeah. the sound stages in London. Yeah. Um, in Norway, it was about 26 degrees below zero. And I mean, without being glib at all, I, I felt like there was no acting as, as much as there was trying to stay alive in the snow. We would, it was awful. I mean, the, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be lost in the snow and tumbling down these snow banks. And of course, the makeup people would say, he doesn't look cold enough, put more snow. And they would take snow and pack it on my, in my eyebrows. And this would melt, go down my face and freeze before it hit my chin. It was awful, and, and it's an unusual kind of cold because it feels hot. It feels, you know, your, your face is like it's been freshly slapped. So, I mean, it was a real a hard uh, location. The cameras were freezing up, and... Uh, and how long were you there? Well, we weren't there that long. I, I think, all told, they were there about three weeks, but I, uh, a lot of that was second unit flying helicopters over the terrain to get a good look at it but it was enough. David, I have to ask you straight away, have they changed Darth Vader's mask? Uh, yes, they have, very slightly, yes. They're, well, they made all sorts of improvements to it because you know, first and foremost, you see, I, uh, on, on the previous one, they decided that they could see through into the eyepieces, and so they put darker lenses in. Then they've, uh, they, they've also made the mask um, I think they made a mask of a different colour, in fact, out of a different fibreglass, a, a greyish colour. And, um, and then on top of all this, they, 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 they altered the breathing hole at the bottom uh, so that I could... In fact, I used to use the breathing hole as a vision hole because I, you, when, you, when you look through the mask, you can't see anything about six feet in front of you. And you have to look through the, through the breathing hole at the bottom to see what's down by your feet. And, uh, and also, of course, the whole thing is, 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 is lacquered this time. They, they have this lacquer on it, and it's all very, very shiny all the time. Did and he look different a, to you? It was all polished all, every day. I never would have known. Oh, yes, it did you look different. The, yeah. Even the yeah. still photograph looked different to me. Yeah. I said, they've changed it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, knew, I just was sure they yeah. had. They even changed his performance as well. I mean, it was a, it was a very subdued, I thought, Darth Vader. Kirsch, Kirsch decided he didn't want me to play it um, at the speed at which I played the previous one. Because on the, pr on the first one, I tried to establish Darth Vader's authority, primarily by, well, obviously by physical presence, but by his walk through the picture. And I was trying to make everybody subservient to me by, by them all having to run to keep up with me. And Kirsch said, no, oh, slow up, slow up. He said, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a much more subtle type of authority. I think that's what's interesting, <coughs> George's idea to have all of the different stories directed by different directors and each mm. director will bring his own interpretation, uh, interpretation yeah. to, to it. Yeah. So uh, far from being sort of the new kid on the block, Kirshner, Irvin Kirshner, who directed The Empire Strikes Back, had, I thought, a, a marvelous facility. I mean, he, had a, he really had a firm grasp of the legend, of the mythology, I and mean, he uh, was great at getting the actors to, you know, to be so, I, I think, he was very enthusiastic in his mm -hmm. approach to it. And that's nice. It's like a fresh, uh, um, new kind of input. Mark, I must ask you also, now I don't want to give it away, but I just want to say that in this story, there is a connection between you and Darth Vader. Yes. It's, was it as much a surprise to you the first time you became aware of it? 
Well, it was very tricky because of the, um, the, the problem with security and, and the fact that people like to leak out these um, Stop looking at me. Secrets. Stop looking at me. <laughs> God bless David. He, he has this wonderful quality. He tells everybody everything. <laughs> no, but actually what happened was we, we printed up bogus scripts so that only and the people... I, I gave one to me. You had a bogus script. Yeah. Well, in that final scene where the re revelations occur, uh, he, he, uh, I memorized not only what David was saying, but what would later be put in. Because, um, and it was terrible. It was like knowing the secret, and I was bursting to tell people. But I think it's nice in the sense that pe they're taking advantage of the fact that many people really feel they know the characters well enough. Uh, for instance, the Obi-Wan character is such a symbol of purity, and then to discover that he has not been completely honest with me, and for whatever reason we don't know, whether it's for his own gain or for the ends justify the means, we don't know. But now, uh, even Darth Vader has, has become a, a various shade of gray. It's not just clear cut, and I think it's a real gamble, and I think that we can be proud of the fact that we didn't deliver the same experience that Star Wars delivered. But did that revelation surprise you or not? Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, and uh, hopefully it will surprise the viewers. And but we're it, not about to give it away. It surprised me, actually, because I didn't know anything about it until I was sat in the cinema last Saturday. And, I, and that was the first I knew of it. And yeah. what did you do? <laughs> practically collapsed in the seat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But it was such, such a sensational twist. But it was really something which had been mooted around for a long time, and I thought they'd forgotten all about it. And, uh, but as I said, it, it, was, you know, it was quite funny looking at yourself, uh, talking all this dialogue, and thinking, well, I never said any of that. <laughs> that was, right. I didn't say anything of that in the picture. Right. I think the, the line that he twist. was saying was that you don't know the truth, Obi-Wan killed your father. Yeah. And that's when I reacted, no, no. And he said, search your feelings, you know it to be true. And that, of course, has been changed for, yeah. for what it is now. Yeah. Sensational. That's, that's fantastic. Mark, you are now married since mm, I saw yes. you last. <coughs> yes. Tell me about, and you have a baby. I have a son, yeah. He's ten and a half months old. And I must say that uh, Everyone was eyeing him very conspicuously because when they go back and do the stories that were 20 years earlier, in the third story, you've, you see how Darth Vader came to power and fell from grace and how uh, the Obi-Wan character uh, had battled with, with Darth and why he was forced to wear this mask. But in the third, in that picture, which is the film that immediately precedes Star Wars, there's like an eight-year-old Luke running around and playing in the background. And uh, I said, wait a minute, one actor in the family is enough for me. <laughs> what did you name your baby? Nathan. Not Luke. Not Luke, no. <laughs> okay. I think that would probably be like Christopher Reeve naming his kid Cal el or <laughs> Clark. <laughs> Mark, David, good to see you both again. Lovely A most enjoyable visit. And congratulations Thanks on what I know much. is another tremendous hit for you. It's Thank nice you. to be back. Thank you. You All right. Do a now? Uh, yes, if I can do a reaction I, I and a cut. We didn't get his line. I gave. I got one for myself I, about the script. You know, I gave myself one. About the surprise. Yes. And you know, when he was printing up the bogus script. Yeah. Well, I was oh. on a tight shot over here. Oh, when he, you yeah. mean the part where he said I didn't, um, I didn't know about it until I went to the no, cinema. Not that part. That, oh. When he was talking about that. So, and that he yeah. got one oh, of the bogus oh, scripts. Oh, just do that one line. Yeah. Uh, I got one of the bogus. Yeah, yeah just that one line. Still turning. Okay. Okay. Still turning. Thank you. I'll lead into it. Yeah, and so okay. that what they did for security purposes was to only tell the key people in, involved, I mean, in the actual scene, what the true dialogue was. For the most part, they had prepared these bogus scripts. With yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> you got <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll let it go. That'll come okay. off as all. You need me sitting here? No. Okay. All set? Three. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the questions. 
So, Mark, what was it like then on that Norwegian location? Mark, I don't want to give it away, but there is a relationship between you and Darth Vader that comes as a total surprise, I think, to the audience. Now, what was your reaction the first time you found out about that? So were you surprised at that revelation? Uh, David, I have to ask you, have they changed Darth Vader's mask and his whole look? Okay. I, then were you surprised also, David? That should do it. Thank you very much. Oh, wait a minute, one more. I forgot, okay. I forgot, I forgot. Still rolling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, since I saw you last, you got married. You have a baby now. Did you call him Luke? Okay, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. So.